god. I like how the spider just like jammed into the song. Like, yeah. Yeah, 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 boy. Oh, that's your boy. I'm just gonna run. I'm gonna run away. Okay, there's, there's a mushroom. Oh yeah, that reminds me. I saw American candy at the end of some random aisle at my local supermarket. Did it have peanut butter? Nerds, Jolly Ranchers, Reese's Pieces, Hershey's Kisses, and Jelly, Be Jelly Bellies. Oh, okay. I honestly don't understand how Jelly Bellies is our candy. Because Jelly Belly does not seem like an American candy. I know that sounds weird, but I just... We don't have cutesy names. We have things like Nerds and, and Jolly Ranchers. Like, those are, are names that we definitely have. But Jelly Belly sounds more like a British idiom, in all honesty. Like, that's the way I see it. I'm not saying that isn't ours, just it doesn't feel like it's ours based on the name. You know? But I am surprised about the Reese's Pieces, because I know there's a lot of strict laws uh, over in Europe and, and various other countries that are just like, no peanut butter and nothing. Can't, no. You just can't. People die. And people die when they're killed. I was just like, ah! I know it's like that. Like the... It's not like full on contraband. It's just kind of like bleh. Ah! Okay. Yeah, you know what? I'm just gonna go with you. You found an American scent. You've never seen one before. I'm surprised you haven't seen one before. Of an American scent. I think I've seen a, a British scent before. Well, quote unquote a scent. I don't, I don't know what they're called rightly. It's not a pound. A hey, penny? I don't know. I've, I've seen something that is not ours. I I've definitely have pesos somewhere, I'm sure. Oh god. It's 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 called a penny? That's what we call our sense. We call it a penny. Or are you talking about your thing? No, mister, stop! Trying to actually hurt me and like it's some sort of video game. You're being very rude. Okay. Honestly, I don't know why I'm going even further than this, because I'm probably just gonna leave this little place soon. Uh yeah, let's just attack. This will be our last one, our last little stand stand. Oh god, 18. Stop! One penny, two pence, one pound. That's weird how they're just- they're literally called a penny then, because we call our- our cents penny, then nickel, quarter- oh, sorry. Penny, nickel, dime, quarter. And then we also have half dollar, which we, you don't see very often uh, in Americas. Uh, but half dollars still exist. I get them every now and again, because I work retail, and you see that kind of crap. And of course, a dollar bill. Uh, and then you also have the- uh, dollar coins. So we have both of those. Um, most of the ones that you get as dollar coins are Shaka Julia uh, dollars, which I find kind of fascinating and happy about. But, um, there, there are a few that have, like, Washington on them and whatnot. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, let's go over here real quick, like. Give me the thing now! Uh, run, 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 run. My 400's not so bad. We do kind of need the hero right now. The the Rio. His name was Rio. He did the polka. Stop! Oh God! The freaking cord touched me in a way that like I thought there was actual spider around. But I got scared. Stop, Mister! Don't get me drunk. That's gonna be your lucky set, your, your number one dime, eh, Flippy? <laughs> that you found. Okay, I'm just gonna keep it this way if you drunk, because we have never kept it this way if you drunk yet. Master, I'm trying to leave, and you're not letting me. Look out, run, no! Look out, run! Look out, run! Good. God dang it. Down Frost within. Alright, you know what? I'll take it. Items, equip. Actually, info equip. Info, info. What is Frost for? Okay. It's for Abby. Abby equip it. 
I'm sure it will be fine, even though you have China in your, on your hands. It's like an extra two. It's like not even worth it. That's sad. Um, skilly skills. Can't use warp. So, can Goemon exit? Not enough SP! Oh no! We gotta use a mirror. Mirror attack! Activate! Alright, back at it again at, at the Krispy Kreme. Let's hope everything works out fine for me and my fam. I'm fam of lamb. Uh, no. I don't want- I don't want this! I don't need this! Stop! Oh, well, he's drunk now. Abby, stop being so drunk. Stop being drunk like a skunk. From the outside, go around to the top of the right of the mountain. Okay. I'll go do that. Oh, uh, we actually could attack these. So I imagine we're gonna find a hot spring, right? Yeah, there's a hot spring. Yeah, okay, I kind of figured. It'll be nice to know where the hot springs are, that's for sure. Um, I'm glad they have them as, as a thing. But I wish they want to keep them, like, so hidden. Because it's like, why? Why do this to me? Stop waking at me! Oh my goodness. Oh my god. Okay, so there's only one person drunk right now. Somebody else is poisoned. And someone's still winking at me. Oh my goodness. Come on. There we go. Okay. Um. Sober up. No! God! Sober up. Yeah, we might as well go ahead and heal if we're gonna heal anyway. From outside, go around to the top right of the mountain. Okay. Top right of the mountain. There it is! Body and mind refreshed. Wait, hold up, hold up. The little girl had, had a thing? She's just like right there on the other side. That's pretty nifty. Why is that in between the both of them? It's so weird. Okay. So I literally need to cure. There you go. And we're going back in. For a third hot spring time. Boo 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 boo! Ow, 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 ow. It's because Ebby's a pervert. Yeah, I can see it. That's why Goyam wants so mean to him, and it's justified. Because he's just a big old perv. Like Purple Diaper Man. Or, um, Hey Arnold. <laughs> was Hey Arnold, like, even close to being a perv in his show? Because I don't think he was. I think he was, like, the most gentleman of the bunch. But at the same time, like, I think he was the only one that actually showed interest in girls out of every single one of them. Oh my god, could you imagine, like, like a reimagined Hey Arnold, but this time Hey Arnold is, is strictly perverted? Oh dear lord. Like, like, that's his only flaw. It's terrible. No, Arnold wasn't. He wasn't the only one to be interested in, in, uh, in Goyles, uh, from the boy side, because I think he was. At that very least. Let's see here. Getting all drunk and the skunk and the skunky skunk. And Cory is almost dead. Cory, you have a freaking anime and yet here you are. You mean Arnold wasn't a perv? That's what I'm saying though. Arnold probably was a perv. Y'all just didn't realize it. He was the only one that wanted to like be with a girl. That's that's gay. <laughs> oh, I love that so much, this stupid ass sentence. You wanna be with a girl? That's so gay! <laughs> like, buddy, I don't think you know what gay actually means. <laughs> oh, that's great. It's fantastic. 
But yeah, I can see it. Out of like all the ones that actually want to see pe see people naked, Arnold was the closest of the bunch of boys that were there. It's crazy. This is why I say Arnold's a perv. This is it. That's that's the whole reason why. And as I recall, in in the movie and then in the other movie, both movies, he somewhat reciprocates the love for Helga. But you know. He has his own little boyhood problems to deal with, like the murder of a, of a, a gigantic mob coming for him. Which, you know, we all had to deal with, right? We, we all had to deal with that. We get over it. Mr. Please! <sighs> well, I gotta attack the fuzzies and the slugs, because they're the nicest ones to me. I mean, the slugs just wink at me constantly, and the fuzzies are... Well, I think the fuzzies... I don't think they know where they are. I think they're just scared. Stop! You know you did what? You met one of magic people naked? Oh my goodness gracious. Like, I was never that, like, sexually deprived person. Or rather, sexually depraved person? That's a better word, I want to say. Um, we're freaking just... I was like, I want to, like, do everybody and this and that. Like, everybody else... Uh, wasn't... Didn't seem like that to me either, but apparently they were. Or some just like that. Because legit... Like, I hear from other people that they're like, oh yeah, you know, we talk about, like, like sex stuff all the time. I'm like, what? 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 Who? When? What? How? Why? It's weird to me. It's weird to me that people actually actively talk about sex. I don't mean in, in, a, in an interesting concept way of just, like, fetishes are a weird thing. Why the heck? I mean, like, as a general sense, like, yeah, you know, like, we did it right there on the stove. And it's like, girl, that thing's hot. <laughs> some some of the girls in her school were perverted. Oh my goodness gracious. I mean, girls have enough ability to be perverted as, as guys do, which I find hilarious. I honestly find that extremely hilarious, and I, I find it very charming and adoring, which is saying a, a bad thing about society, because... Pervertedness should not be considered any kind of charming in any sort of way, shape, or form. But I like it. <laughs> then again, I'm, I'm a different type of person, I'm supposed to say. Uh, in comparison to the rest. But girls taking initiative, I think, is a very, like, wonderful thing. And it sucks that society as a whole has not really done that more. Because I feel like it should be more balanced and fair for both sides of the gender spectrums. You know? I like that idea more. Where guys just, where guys just like, I'm not sure how I'm into this girl. And this girl's just like, I want to date the heck out of you. I would love to see that, and vice versa. Like that's what we need in life, you know? That's that's what I want to see. That's that's what my promoting is. Uh, yeah, he could heal himself, but at the same time, like you have to more heal. How do you heal? Yeah, see what? See, you, you get it, Flippy. Just like, if you love it when a girl takes initiative, how many more people would love it to take, for a girl to take initiative? I'm not saying that always has to be the case. That's clearly not the case. Um, but I feel like a lot more guys would like actually like get into the fray of like dating and such if more girls were more were raised more on the initiative. Like anyone that has ever taken the initiative beforehand. Um, they just good. Good on them. Good. Fantastical. It's magical. But I've, I've never really seen it personally, like, to this astonishing effect. Like, I never had anyone come up to me, or I've never seen any of the, any girls that I know of uh, go up to somebody else and really take the initiative. It's always been sort of like, like a fairly, like, gamey game, but that's like a straight people thing, I swear. I don't mean to harp on straight people on this, because generally speaking, I'm confused and worried. Like, when, when it comes to straight people, I am very worried about their whole entire, like, oh yeah, I like this person, but I'm not really going to say anything, and we're going to play mind games and, and not figure that out. It was like what you were telling me beforehand, uh, Flippy, about the whole entire, like, if people actually, like, did the tips that people were saying about the whole entire, um, <laughs> how to say, uh, like, make sure not to talk to this guy or girl for as, like, long as possible, that way, you know... You're, you don't look too desperate and all this and that, like, which I kind of get, but it's just like, if you like them, talk to them. 
Don't be stupid. <laughs> oh yeah, the crappy YouTube dating tips. Yep, that's what I'm talking about, that's for sure. And to be fair, this is society's fault. Society has a way big problem with, um, like, if they come on too strong and you can't re reciprocate their feelings, then that's a problem. And it's just like, some people just go into love hard. Leave them alone. They just do. I feel like there's nothing wrong with it. But that could be the reason why I'm single, so... You know? Nobody ever talked to anybody. Yep, that's that's the dating tip for the YouTubes. Make sure that you don't talk to them within three days, because otherwise you'll look desperate and just like, what? But I am desperate. I don't care that they know or not. <laughs> you know? Anything, I, I find that more of a thing, but <laughs> again, maybe why I'm single. <laughs> like, I, I don't deny that one bit. I am not... Like, when it comes to actual relationships, when it comes to actual factual relationships and all this and that. Not my personal one, because my personal one I've only had like one and just, it didn't last for a number of reasons and I kind of figured it went up for a number of reasons, but um, the bigger point here was, uh, like, I'm good at predicting how a relationship will go down the road, but that's largely because relationships largely fail. That's my big secret. That's my secret cap. I'm always cynical. <laughs> L, and the first thing you say to them, look, I'm desperate. <laughs> I mean, yeah, you probably shouldn't say it that way. Because you make it seem like you're the, you're the last choice for them. Like, I'm desperate. I want a thing in me. Come on. Let's, let's do this. Although, like, I guess women can say that more often than men can. <laughs> like, hey, I'm desperate. I want to stick with my thing in your thing. Eh? Just like give a thumbs up. Like, nah, nah. Because women see that too often. They, they, they see that kind of kind of crap. So I, I get why the whole entire like desperate plea and all that. Uh, at the same time, just like, Ugh. just let people be people. Let them, let them have that stupid shit. <laughs> people are not going to be the best at expressing their emotions and feelings. And because of that, when they get rejected, it becomes even harder. So it's just like, if you tell them to never go for it, they're not going to be able to get re rejected as much. If they don't get rejected as much, that means they, they grow harder and harder on crushes and whatnot. If they grow harder and harder on crushes, that means um, they're more likely to become emotionally unstable when things go wrong. When things become more emotionally stable, bad things happen. Just as a general statement, anything can go wrong. And that's like a big, big problem. Like, if anything as a society we should be talking more about like let's go for it just go for it bro go for broke be a fighting game announcer okay that has been my inspiration all my life when it comes to like talking to cute girls and everything like that because I've, I've done that i want to say recently but like over these past few years of my college days where i'm just like i'm just like what what if a fighting game announcer was here and they just were saying things to me I would totally love, love to hear that in like in my head, like go for broke, uh, final round, <laughs> or like trying to die. Yeah, that's right, movie. I would love to see that crap. That's the stuff that I want to see. That is the stuff I want to hear. Uh, that that is for sure my jam, and it's a good, it's a good inspiration. It, it gets you fired up. I I can't say it'll you know get you dates or nothing, but. The biggest part of the whole entire dating scene is just learning to take rejection, and I don't like rejection. Nobody really does, not rightly. Um, I mean, I don't mind it so much if it's like something that I don't care about, or if it's some something core to that. But just like, legit, man. Like having someone deny you things, it's just it don't feel right. They're like, they're like, nah. They're like, but why? I want the thing, and they're like, no smash. I'm like, Becky, please. <laughs> Lost got a sneaky surprise attack at the start of the talk. <laughs> Lost was seriously wounded, but the soul still burns. <laughs> what is that from? It does sound like a fighting game. Oh my god. Whatever the heck it was. Okay. Oh, mister, please. God dang it. Um... 
You know what? We'll, we'll fight. Uh, oh, Soul Calibur. Oh my god. I forgot Soul Calibur has that kind of things. Oh my god. Soul Calibur seriously gives an intro for every single one of their fighters with a depressing backstory to some degree. Like, where they have to, like, know about the, the soul or whatever. Oh my god, bro, you just reminded me. You also reminded me that Soul Calibur has a lot of lovely women in it. And I'm not even talking about Ivy, because Ivy has the biggest boopers in the world. It's just, it's ridiculous. Which, technically speaking, aren't the actual biggest boobs in the world, but just in terms of gaming, she's like the biggest one of them all. Like, she would crush anybody in, in, a, in a booby contest, I think. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Because even the, the Sinra Kagura girls, like, they're all fairly the same amount. I know that sounds weird, but it's true. All Sinra Kagura girls are the same amount of, like, we're this big, you know? <laughs> I guess you won't understand, huh? Eh, yeah, like a fat. I mean, you have like a, like, like, Takam, I think her name was. The girl with the nun nunchakus type of situations. Like, I face a really good Takam player. Is that her name? God dang it, I should really look that up. Whatever. Soul Calibur. That's a good series. That's a good, fantastical series. Oh, I kind of want to play it single player, because, like, legit. That, that Soul Calibur 2, I played a single player to death, and I loved it, I loved it, loved it, loved it. It has one of the best single players in all of fighting game history. Like, let me fight you on that till I don't die. So I, th I thought it was fancy, I thought it was fun. Peachy King, you know? Bo -bo -bo -bo. But me personally, if, if you were asking me in terms of boo pitch and whatnot, like what I like, I like them well-rounded, I do. I, I, I don't think I can really have them flat, in all honesty. That's not to say that I can't have somebody that is flat, it's just, you know, it's a preference thing. It's preference, all preference. So it's just like, eh, if they're flat, that's fine. They just gotta make it up in other things. Like, that's all it comes down to. Like, if they're a clearly dominant person and they're just like, like, full on speak their mind, oh my god, yes, very much so. I would love that. I was just talking to my friend the other day, like, how much, like, <laughs> I would love, like, this big muscular girl, like, come into my life, swoop me off my feet, and just be romantic as heck. Like, that, that is a thing, and I'm just like, oh my god, that'd be so fun! It'd be fun as heck, I would love it so much, so dearly. But not completely flat? Yeah, that's, that's a weird feature, I would say, of someone that's not completely flat, but, you know, just flat as a thing. But I will say this much, they could totally wear like a uh, 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 fluffy, fluffy um, bras and it just works entirely well for them. Like that's, that's like a look look and I just, it makes me, it makes it nice. God dang it, stop going after him and only head now! Why did he have shades on? I just realized. Run! 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 Okay, okay, okay. It's fine. It's fine. I'm dying. It's fine. Okay. Uh. Yeah, I'll give one more to him, and then we'll start healing again. Because we're still trying to figure out where we're at, and that's like the biggest problem right now. There you go. Uh, yeah, we're good now. There we go. All right, we could definitely like like take on this mushroom guy if we could kill him before he does anything, which is good. That did happen. Also, I just realized these guys, these Thomas, they look like Goombas. They have like a little chestnut on the on their head, like the Super Mario World Goombas. You know what I'm saying? The Mario. What are I gonna do with all these Goombas? <laughs> The way they dance to death. Like, legit. You kill them? Look at that. They're dancing to death. Sad, really. Uh, da, 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 da. Okay, so that's where it looks like. You have to go further. Uh, yeah, we're good. Oh, wait, no, hold on. Hold on. No. Eh, eh. There we go. 
Now we shouldn't have to like worry about getting anything else. Does this look like boss territory? No, but it looks like it's kind of close, you know? I suppose I could start using pedals and whatnot. Do I want to start? Yeah, I'll start using pedals after this this battle in particular. Because I have salmon to spare. Stop winking at me! They just keep winking at me, it just is disgusting. I mean, I do like goo girls, but it's like only to a point of just like, they're kind of nice to look at. I wouldn't actually want to date one. I'm sorry. I'm not trying to be racist here. But slug people, no way. No way, no slug people. No way. Guy, sir, mister, please. Okay, I'm not dealing with this one. Just realized that Cory's almost dead. Cory, in the house, you have to kill yourself. Otherwise, you might die. We don't want that. We don't want you dead. We don't want you dead in the bread. We don't want you bread, Jim. Now, stop! Run! 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 God dang it. Run, please. Thank you. Alright, if you go downward, we'll be downward. And then we'll get him. Like there's more to this. I mean, we knew there's more to it, but just than usual. All right, going on. You can finally use your pedals. Oh yes, quake now. You got earthquake thingy. Nifty. We're not gonna use it. <laughs> it's probably gonna cost way too much SP, and I don't want that. I don't need that. Pedals. Pedal attack. Activate. Going on. Why are you throwing pedals everywhere? It's all my enemies are stunned. They won't understand how magnificent everything is! <laughs> Koyamon, that's not a good idea! Shut up, Ebsu! Ebsumaru! <laughs> Ebsumaru's just like, oh! As he always does, that's catchphrase, his catchphrase is, oh! He's a sad, perverted ninja. Sumaru, there we go, yeah. I don't know why it took me forever to figure that out. <laughs> I like how it was shut up, F F Sumaru. That I got it right. Episode Maru. <laughs> That's his name. He's an episode. Stop trying to get at me. Thank you. Oh no. This is bad. They're all dancing. They're dancing. Okay. Now they're all not getting hit. Thank God. <laughs> oh. This is not like Final Fantasy's dungeon, because Final Fantasy's dungeon is just like, you know what? Everyone gets hurt. We're just gonna make the whole floor lava. Just one floor of lava. There's like, but why? They're like, I don't know. It's just because we can. We're developers. I'm like, no! Hey, that so much. Uh, and I played the the remade version of, of that game. I played the one on the GBA. And that's supposed to be better for you. And it, I mean, it is, but it still hurts. It still hurts a lot. But tell the truth, I do want to play the PSP versions of the Final Fantasy games. Uh, Final Fantasy 1 and Final Fantasy 2. Mainly because I like Final Fantasy 2 a heck of a lot. I don't know why that is. It's just the case. It's the point, man. It's It's there. It's coming our way, it's coming right for us. No, stop! Run! 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 Oh my god. Everybody got blocked. Everybody got blocked! Stop thundering me to death! Start standing firm. There you go. It's good. It is, it's a good time. Good times!